In the midst of World War II's chaos, an extraordinary tale of bravery and female empowerment unfolded. The story of the Night Witches, a fearless group of Soviet women aviators who defied the darkness of night and conventional norms to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. At the center of this narrative is Marina Raskova, a female pioneer in aviation. Marina achieved fame as both a pilot and navigator for the Soviet Union in the 1930s, becoming the first female navigator in the Soviet Air Force in 1933. Raskova set numerous long-distance flight records, earning celebrity status and the nickname Russian Amelia Earhart, with most of her record-breaking flights taking place in 1937 and 1938, while she continued to teach at the Air Academy. As the Second World War unleashed its fury, the Soviet Union grappled with a severe pilot shortage. Raskova, moved by letters from young women across the nation yearning to contribute to the war effort, brought their pleas to Joseph Stalin. In a landmark decision, Stalin allowed Raskova to form the first all-female fighting squadron. This groundbreaking move led to the formation of three distinct units, including the 588th Night Bomber Aviation Regiment, the famed Night Witches. It was on October 8, 1941, that the regiment came into existence, comprising of 260 women who fulfilled various roles, from navigators to support staff and ground crew, collectively earning the moniker of the Night Witches. These courageous women were about to etch their names in the annals of history. From October 1941 until May 1942, all the women had to attend intensive training in the small city of Engels in Saratov. They had to learn how to fly, maintain the aircraft, and navigate. The training, which usually lasted 18 months for men, was only given six months for the women. Most of these women were students aged between 17 and 26 years old. Due to the lack of women in the Soviet Air Force, they had to use men's uniforms, which were baggy and oversized. Other things missing were radios, radars, weapons, and other tools to facilitate the night navigation. The regiment was deployed on the front line in June of 1942. The Night Witches led by Yevdokia Bershanskia were not equipped with the most advanced war machinery. Instead, they were saddled with Polikarpov Po-2 aircraft, seemingly unfit for battle. These planes made of plywood and canvas were typically used for training or as crop dusters. With a top speed of just 90 miles per hour and a capacity to carry only two bombs, they were far from an ideal choice for warfare. Due to their weight, the pilots had to travel low, which is one reason why these missions could only be carried out during the night, navigating only by maps and compasses, without the safety of parachutes. The limitations of their aircraft, however, were no match for the audacity and determination of these women. The night witches turned these supposed weaknesses into their strengths. They flew so low and so quietly that they became nearly invisible and inaudible to the enemy until it was too late. The sudden jarring noise of their engines revving just before dropping their bombs led to their ghostly nickname. Their mission was clear, disrupt the Germans at night. They executed daring raids, sometimes as many as 18 in a single night. The sound of their noisy flight struck terror into the hearts of their enemies, earning them the name Night Witches or Nachtexen, a moniker as chilling as a witch's broomstick slicing through the night. Between June 1942 and October 1945, the Night Witches flew over 30,000 missions leaving a trail of disruption in their wake. These courageous women, armed with determination, braved the night skies. Their audacity was unmatched. Despite their planes often returning riddled with bullet holes, their indomitable spirit remained unscathed. Nadezhda Popova, a celebrated pilot among them, once returned from a daring raid with 42 bullet holes in her plane, map and helmet, miraculously unharmed. 22 Night Witches received the prestigious Hero of the Soviet Union Award, a testament to their unwavering dedication. Yet their journey was not without heartbreak. 32 of these pilots died in service. In January 4, 1943 at the age of 30, Marina Raskova, their pioneer, met an untimely end when her plane crashed. During its first assignment, two squadrons encountered a heavy snowstorm and Raskova's plane crashed into the Volga River's high bank wall. Her loss was deeply mourned but the Night Witches continued to soar, their spirit undimmed. The impact of the Night Witches on the war was significant. They defied not only the darkness of night but also the conventional gender norms of their time. Their legacy is more than just a tale of war, it is a story of resilience, empowerment, and the shattering of gender barriers.